Windy Meadow. What is it? Let's find out. So I really like the look of this. Like, it has a gorgeous look to it. Can we check out settings? Okay, pixel clean. Yeah, I think we want to go clean. I don't know how we are supposed to... Right is fine. I didn't mean to take a screenshot. That's interesting. To continue, we'll also speed up the game. Usually the game gives you unlimited time to read, but not always. If you ship the thing by accident, use the mouse wheel to roll back. Or use the archive to read the most recent text. Press the or right mouse button or escape to open it. Okay. You can use, use the example now to make an option. I mean, you have kind of made a choice already. Well done. Most people you talk with have their text aligned to the right side of the screen. The same goes for their portraits. Your character, on the other hand, will be presented on the left side of the screen. If you'd rather keep the entire text aligned to the left, okay. The listening characters have much darker portraits, like here. My name just became yellow, so you can point at it with your mouse to see a short description of who I am. Oh, there we go. A year has passed to bury her reg her regrets. You can also point at other yellow words. Dragon bones. The coins used... Oh, that's neat. Bates. Teach him how he's this person I should thank for dragging me into this boring village. Here's an example of a notification you may want to close. Just press LB with it to close. Okay, there we go. If your mouse is pointing at the buttons, press them instead of progressing the game, unless they're gray. Whenever you visit a new place, this small animation will remind you to open the map. Press the marked icon. Oh, so that's the map. All right. This box allows you to enter the menu. It also reveals a few additional buttons. This button opens the codex. It's rather empty, but will soon contain the description of all the game's characters and more. Just like the mouse wheel, the right button here rolls back the game, while the left one speeds it up. By default, you won't be able to skip the parts of the game that you haven't seen yet. You can change this in the game's settings. And these two buttons help you to save and load the game quickly. The game also uses auto saves at the start of each day and you can open the manual saves from the menu. Press F1 to learn about keyboard controls or press the controls button you can find in the settings. Now you know all the basics, have a good time. All right, so now we are actually starting the game. All right, select a chapter. Vena the Huntress. Last evening. Since when do you have this many patron stabs? The news of Venus Deeds have reached the city. The merchants want to hire her. Deeds, I don't recall. But I already told you already. What a loud bunch. I think I'll take the bottle back home. What else is new, ma'am? It's been an hour since you joined the merchants at the table. Keeping your back straight for so long starts to wear on you, but you were told only to speak when spoken to. You observe the others, but you can't follow their prattle. Something about a missing ship from the Far East, and a new spice that everyone just needs to try, even, the, e even though it's as expensive as a sheep. They summarized how you defeated those trolls from last autumn, right at the start, but since then they've pretty much been ignoring you. Uh, 
Um, yeah. You were supposed to meet at the large rock behind the Pearl River. A slow, nice evening, even if not a very exciting one. Sophina, how's your beer? You cast a glance to your dad. Dad's a hero, the best hunter in the realm. Who manages to stay in control as always. Why can't you just... Why can't you be that confident? I'd rather have some cider, to be frank. And you couldn't say so sooner? You better learn how to speak to yourself before you reach the city. Need spices, ale houses, music, acrobats, gambling, fancy clothes, bright nights. Don't encourage her. And Beerit, Beeritus? Beeritus, okay, that's the same thing. It's better to drink crappy beer than to insult a merchant. She's just being polite, Ebolo. Your girl has potential, Latro. She follows in your footsteps. Kind words, but you struggle to find a hunter who can match her talent. And she's not even 20. Loading the trolls into the swamp was quite a plan. Our Fable put together a song about her bravery. Fable. Oh, okay. Person. Our Fable? You've grown quite comfortable with your new home. Maybe in a way. Let's not jump ahead. Nothing's been decided yet. But it's a great opportunity. Don't you want to leave the nest, darling? She'll think about it after you tell us your offer. Argentia knows the details, but from what I've heard, the Guild and Baratus can, can reward Venus' talents generously. It's not that intricate. We can always find a job for a gifted warrior. What kind of job? You'd start as a guard at a store, or maybe a warehouse. Learn more about the city, then become my personal defender. Prove yourself, and once I get the chance, I'll whisper your name to the larger players. All you need is strength and ambition. Keep going the extra mile, and you'll end up as a commander or overseeing our caravans and ships. You could work as a road warden for a year or five, too. A life of wealth and adventure, then a quick retirement. Especially if you were to join the guild as an investor. As you can see, such a life has treated us fairly well. Don't tell me it's not a tempting opportunity. Windy Meadow's a peaceful place. There's food, mead, and work to do. Why would I leave all of this behind? One day you may wake up and realize that you're bored, that you crave more than your home has to offer. Journeys, meat, mead, friendships. Better hope it won't be too late for you already. I used to be in exactly the same position, you know. A young sorceress ap appreciated for her talent with many open doors. I kept asking myself, what do I really want? And I found the answer. I wanted it all. All the best things that coin can buy. I spent each free moment mastering the spells of wind and light, working with adventurers, dealing with beasts. Once I came to the city, I had a reputation to my name. And I knew my worth. I reached for the very top, assisting the guild's caravans, taking the most dangerous routes, until I could look the guild masters in the eyes and demand what I wanted, and they couldn't refuse. The sounds of a traitor luring someone into taking a deal. How I don't miss it. I don't mind listening to a master speaking about their craft. Um, some city folk ate their home. Evelo moved here, right? To rest from the noise and stench, and he's rich. I'm the exception, not the rule. If I were your position, I'd not only refuse this invitation, I'd also hide my spear in a basement and drop this hunting business altogether. I'd rather be a farmer. But I already had a life of luxury and worries, just like my parents before me, and they flourished in it. Our dream was to live away from all the commotion. I'm lucky to get a chance to do so. Most people won't. But you are not a quiet, frightened weakling like I was when I was your age. You, you, you handle living in Beritzis. Don't be so dramatic. Living behind the city walls is so much easier than in the countryside. At least our food doesn't try to eat us first. Richest merchant to visit. Oh, she's the richest. I don't know. Our mom is sick. Dad's our very last hunter. Victus needs my help with Enmura. Who's Enmura? Daughter, okay. And once Autumn comes and the undead show up, what then? We'll be left to ourselves. The merchants know our value. The soldiers from the city are a capable bunch. 
Your mom and I rely on your brothers and sisters. I hate to think about checking the traps without your aid, but don't burn your future for our sake. Your mother wouldn't forgive herself. Listen to the others, little wolf. The right guides the brave. The right. So Argentia, you're gonna visit us again in 15 days, am I right? With the wedding supplies? Looks like it. I won't be traveling in this direction again until the end of summer. That's when we'll give you our final answer. Will you use a ferry boat or a cart? I have yet to decide. Just be sure to have space for a passenger, deal? I'll figure something out. Like always, don't you worry. Day one. I'm a patient soul, but we're going to discuss your future sooner or later, pup. I don't know what I want. That's the problem. You don't need to know to make a good choice. The knot you used here ain't right. Once you lose control of the spearhead, the beast will break your neck in an instant. Just use the one I taught you, little wolf. I learned quite a few knots from Limos. They're easier to use. Oh, look at this guy. This guy looks tough. Fishermen ain't real hunters. Don't put yourself in danger. I've been roaming these woods for 20 years. You can trust me, or at least consult me first. I don't like that knot. It's thick, takes too many steps. Bandits would cut it with a single swipe. Spears are for hunters, not soldiers. You want to face bandits? Start training with a bow or a mace. You're too old for a sword anyway. I'm too tired out to carry our prey now. Let's have a talk. What about the scavengers? The runners will catch the scent soon. And yet, it's so quiet here. It may be spring, but we should have at least seen a few larger beasts by now. Oh, you want us to stay here for long? I've got plans for the evening. Do you now? Well, then I guess you're just too busy. But since I've caught your attention... Don't be like that. I always listen to you. Let's discuss what's going on. The trolls, when did they show up? First days of autumn. That's when old Salvia, herbalist, okay, warned me that they never stopped their hunt. And you can turn the land into a wasteland. I'm glad you remember. The way you took care of them was impressive. Don't get me wrong. But now I've grown more and more convinced that even then that was too late. They changed the forest already? Last year, we used to simply leave the house and look for wild game. Now we're forced to set traps, use bait, look for rats and squirrels. At least there are more hares around. But the larger creatures were either caught or chased away by the trolls. Well, fewer beasts means more rats and birds. So fewer mushrooms, nuts, fruits, and flies. And Lamos told me there are more fish in the stream. Everything connects. You know where I'm going with this. We lack game, so there ain't a place for me in the village. I should leave. Would it hurt you to focus on something other, something other than yourself for a bit? Though it's true that we ought to leave the animals alone for at least a year. The forest needs another breath. But what about our forest garden? Should we open it to the predators? I had a talk with Ludacia, old Salvia's pupil. We'll limit ourselves to starting, startling them instead of killing them. The garden is crucial for us, more important than any wild game. But we ain't some armed numbskulls. A good hunter can do many things. And Lacerta, our mayor, would allow us to join the guards for a few seasons. I won't spend my days sitting at the inn. So, we're going to be fine? There's one more obstacle, but that's enough loitering around. Let's pull out our boar while it's still sunny. It's a tiresome task. The ropes are secured to one of the trees, stopping the boar from falling. To pull it out, you have to fight for every inch. Oh, that's a big one. Holy shit, it's heavy. Language. Still, it's all muscle. A fine beast to end our current path with. Will it taste good after smoking? I ain't sure. Boar meat can be treacherous. Now let's pray. Oh, of course. Praise to be 
Praise be to the right for the years we've received, for the years that guard us, for our strong limbs and strong, sharp senses, and the gentle weather. We humbly welcome the taste of your creation. Help us spread your meat wisely in our family, oh, and among our friends, and help us sell the tusk and bones to the city folk. We'll share what you give us with Vates, your servant, to prove to you that we're ready to leave everything behind, if such your will. So be it. I wish I could pray as gratefully as the priest. Shameful, being a soul of simple words. Don't worry, it's about having an honest heart, right? I guess, but remember how my, started, my father started to forget words and names once his hair got gray until he lost the gift of speech? Our family ought to squeeze out everything we can with each year we get. Now, before we head back home, take a look here. A smooth stick with blood on its end. It's a spear. A goblin found a thin branch and sharpened it with a rock. After all, no undead would have a reason to attack a wild beast, and no other creature would wield a weapon in combat. So, it came here to stab the boar? Touch the blood. It's fresh. Goblins found the boar after it fell in the hole. They tried to jab it, but didn't stick around. The grass here is trampled, but I see no footprints. They could be slim from hunger, and that means desperate? I'm proud of you, little wolf. You do just fine in the city. But goblins are bad news. Base, best case scenario, they're going to keep our tribe away from the woods. But who can be sure they won't attack the farmers or snatch our kids over the wall? Let's head back and warn the workers. Then this monster will fill up a whole wagon. We've got a long day ahead. That is a big boar. The third, maybe the second largest game we've ever caught. Wonder how it got here. Good thing you didn't have to fight it. We wouldn't attack it even if we got the chance. Not without old Salvia's binding dust. But dad used to fight such creatures, such monsters when I was still little. Because mom was at his side. She hit a charging beast right in the eye. She'll show you once she starts walking again. What's all this about a goblin tribe you found? Just the marks and footprints. Victus told me they're just big, cunning monkeys. To me, they're small, furry people. On pause. Can they be lured into a trap? Or will you scare them away like you did with the trolls? Dad's got a plan. He knows what he's doing. What happened to her eye? Are you... Will you get rid of them before you leave us? Um, this. I don't know what to think of the city. Part of me wants to stay here. Dad says you'll leave for sure. That there's nothing waiting for you here. Dad says many things, but the choice is mine. I ain't gonna leave you. I'll visit you each spring. Always thought you'd be here to see me on my first hunt. The right doesn't ask us about our plans. Don't worry, we'll find a way to get rid of them. I ain't afraid, wanna help you. The tribe's gonna stand together. We lack magic, yet we're able to outsmart the trolls. We can handle some goblins. Goblins, gargoyles, dragons won't hide in the stronghold like some old lady, no matter what's coming for us. I'm a better fighter than most folks here. A spear woman. A spear girl, maybe. Still, it ain't your call. Dad or Lacerta, mayor will ask you once they need your help but i'm ready to fight just need a chance to prove it be ready when the moment comes don't argue with dad but keep your spear close and your eyes open i will and i won't disappoint you i know you're very brave i'm very happy for you you know how come you've got this job offer and you're going to be rich i don't even know what i want Hmm. Being rich doesn't mean much to me, I think. But all the merchants say Beritus is a busy place with soft beds, all sorts of food, and drinks, and colors, and loud streets, and all these bars and acrobats. And Windy Meadow. It's always the same. 
oats with milk, same cider, cold winters, no music, no young men to have a walk with. I'd like to have the taste of the city for a season or two, but to spend years there, I don't know. Distant grass is always greener. Can't you take the job and bail after you get sick of it? Would be wrong. I don't want to quit unless necessary. Can't play with our tribe's good, good name. I don't want you to be bored, but well, yeah, I'd miss you too. Aww. Day two. Muffled voices reach you from inside. Darling, check what they want. Why me? Just open the door. I ain't a recruit. Are you sure you want to argue with us after you dropped your helmet in the river? Answer the bloody door before you cut your pay through the equipment you borrowed from. Hello, gals. Something wrong? Not sure yet, but we should talk. Tell me you don't need to, need to look for that lost ring again. Our dad. We're here in Latro's name. He's examining the forest right now. Come, come. We've got time for you. Vina Anahastia, right? That's us. I expect the mayor has briefed you already. Only mentioned that we're here, that we're to prepare the village for the furry shitheads. Oh, what a name. So, ever fought a tribe of goblins? Me? Not really, but there are lectures on all kinds of beasts in the city. It ain't like they're trolls. Nothing to worry about. Unless there's a hundred of them. They climb well, can get past the wall, and it won't be easy to hire a mage to help us. Let's think. We've got the three of us and you, Dina, and your father. Would your brother join us? Sure he, sure he would. Victus is a bit busy, but he'll help us. Priest Vates, too. And maybe we could ask the Lumberjacks. Oh, the Lumberjacks. You mean pay the Lumberjacks. That's hardly enough. And I doubt we get much use from arming the rest of the village with spears. Have you learned anything about these goblins' weaknesses? I mean, we've got fire, if nothing else. Not much to go with, is it? Better prepare the stronghold for the elders and kids. Bringing in the beds and furs from stores is easy enough, but we'll need help with collecting water and food. What about... Exactly. If we were to mobilize our neighbors, the mayor wouldn't skimp on a few more shields, would she? We're in for a boring afternoon. Let's grab some chairs. Time, three hours later. Finally, some fresh air. I'll leave the door open. Is it just me? Or do you get bolder when the soldiers are around? Not that I've got a choice. They're not my best friends or anything, but they said I could join them once they head back to the city. They'd recommend me to their commander, I think they're called. Congratulations. You could make quite a career. Nah, I'm happy where I am. I ain't one to go the extra mile when I'm free. I'd rather take a stroll in our forest garden or go to an inn with you. I don't need people looking up to me to know my worth. Though getting noticed was nice. I'm sure it was. Well, it's getting late. See you soon. Good luck. Are you going? Why even bring me with you if I've got nothing worth saying? Forgive me, next time I'll give you the time to speak. Still here? Father's waiting for you. What's wrong? We're having a family dinner. Victus is taking Amura to the city to look for a healer. So old Savia can't help her? That's what Victus said. I'm sorry, pet. Any news about the goblins? Kind of, but let it go for now. We shouldn't burden Victus with this. So dad found them. How many? At least 30. They're settled in a cave not that far from here. We're screwed. And what about you? No work today? Stabulus can survive for a few hours on his own. I need some rest anyway. I had to prepare the entire dinner. For you too. Well, what we're doing isn't easy. The better our plans, the safer we are. 
So heroic of you. Just saying, it'd be helpful if you could get home today without me having to give you a ride in a wheelbarrow. So be it. So be it. So much fresh meat. Were we starving or what? This day deserves it. The boar was large enough to grant us a feast, and we'll share the leftovers with reg reg Regula. Regula? I got us a bottle of spiced meat from Castus, too. Can I have some? Ain't it hilarious how Victus can simply decide to leave for the city once he sees he needs it, while Venus sits on the fence for half a season? You're too old for petty squabbles. Just saying, at least she was kind enough to join us instead of stuffing herself at the inn again. I don't even drink that much. Pay attention to other clients instead of staring at me like a hawk. I was talking to both of you. I said, can I have some mead too? And to yours, little wolf. Let's have a talk before we drink anything. And Mura needs help, but I can't leave you with the goblins lurking around the corner. What did old Salvia say? Can't she help us? Ludacia told me that both herbalists have run out of ideas. Soon, an Inai's shell won't be able to swallow food. Who is an eye? Oh, niece. And while I'm grateful for your prayers, I can no longer wait for a miracle. You should still go to Salvia. For Ludi, everything's dark and hopeless. I'm sure they discussed it together. And she's rude and weird. So, she's smart. We're not asking you to be nice. We ought to respect her and work as a team. Thank you, Vina. Yes, sometimes you just need to swallow your medicine and move forward. Speaking of medicine, right. Pup, you have your own set of responsibilities now. A child that's defenseless without you. And what about the monsters? It was all a false alarm. I got spooked by five, maybe eight hungry apes. We'll handle them, Vina and I. Finally, some good news. But are you sure you don't need my help? Help me by bringing back my granddaughter. When can you leave? Evelo wants to hire the Lumberjacks to escort us. If the right allows it, we'll hit the road tomorrow just before noon. Dad, lied to him? What if we need his help? Victus has got the right to decide what to do. Um... Check out a few alehouses for me. Just act your new mercenary friends. Myself, I'd rather visit the Grand Temple. But return soon before the flowers fade away. I'll make a crown for any. Don't I deserve a crown too? Earn it by bringing me some sweets. Just eat a spoonful of honey. Boring. Interesting. Wait, I heard something. Hi, Mom. She's awake. Great, you can say your goodbyes. I couldn't have hoped for a better evening. I better head back to the inn, Hostia. The dishes are on you. Me? This entire mess? A hunter's afraid of some dirt? Don't be a crybaby. It won't kill you. I'll go with you. Duh, what else is new? And what else would you want me to do? There's nothing fun around here. There's plenty of chores to help with. Just nothing as easy as quaffing casts of cider. Keep the judgmental tone to yourself. Just saying. I hope the city will excite you enough before you finish your path as a drunk loser you really are. I ain't asking you for crumbs of wisdom. I spread my time how I want. You don't know me at all. Sure, because you're so complex, so brave, so talented, so special, yet a simpleton through and through. We'll see how many friends you keep once you lose an arm to a thug. You just love the sound of your own voice, huh? I guess I'll go ahead. Bye, girls. Alright, I think we are going to stop. That's a lot of reading. 
That's a lot of reading. So if you like reading, I mean, you don't have to read that aloud. I wanted to read that aloud so everybody can understand what the words were. Hopefully it was easily understandable. Um, but yeah, it's neat, neat story. The reading though is tough. That's a lot of reading. I think if I didn't have to read it out loud, it would probably be a bit more, what's the right word to say? A bit more easier to ease into, but with reading it out loud, all that stuff, it's a lot, it's a lot of words. But if you're into stuff like that, like text-based adventures, you will likely 100% enjoy this one. I don't know if there's any action at some point in the game. I think it's just all text and it goes through a story-based adventure, but definitely neat. Uh, Windy Meadows, A Road Warden Story. Um, I think with this Steam, so actually it might be on sale right now. I will uh, drop the link in the description below if you'd like to go check it out. Uh, but thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I shall see you next time.